All right, before I get started on this video, man, let me just say this. If you guys didn't find nothing wrong with what happened in the Sonia Massey case, you are part of the problem. Let me just get that out the way. All right, we are back on the Truth Is channel, uh, which I'll leave in the description so you guys can check out more and even subscribe. He does a great, great job of breaking down these videos, man. Um, like I said, most of you, I'm pretty sure, have seen what happened. That was, that was probably one of the worst ones I've seen. Um, but uh, there was something spiritually wrong with the Sonia Massey case. All right, we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's get right into it. In America, acts of police brutality are nothing new. As yearly, we hear of several cases where officers of the law are not only abusing their power, but breaking the law. Stories of crooked police officers who are trigger happy towards black people and other minorities have sadly become normal. But the case of Sonia Massey was more than just a case of police brutality. Was Sean Grayson- Is her name Sonia or Sonia? Forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But again, man, rest in peace to her. And then I heard like there was some stuff going on with him in the past. I know you're going to break it down. It to Miss Massey was nothing other than demonic. As I watched that footage, I knew there was something spiritually wrong about all of this. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to The Truth Is, where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be talking about the Sonia Massey case. Let's get right into it. I normally do not cover things like this, but when I saw this footage of the situation, my heart broke and I felt that there was clearly something spiritually wrong about all of this. After watching the police cam, there's no way you can tell me that it wasn't spiritual. For those that haven't heard of the case of Sonia Massey and are confused right now, let me at least tell you this disturbing story before I get into what I have to say. Sonia Massey was a 36-year-old Springfield, Illinois resident Dang. who was taken out in cold blood in her own home. Footage of the incident that led to her death has gone viral online, sparking controversy. As the Man, 36 years old in your own home. I don't know if you guys remember that other case where that one that one cop went into the wrong home. She thought it was her apartment and a dude was just in there chilling, minding his business, man, and she ended up shooting him. That that right there. <sighs> but it showed no justifiable reason for Sonya to have lost it all. On the night of July 6, Sonya Massey called the police for help because she believed she had heard people outside of her home. When the officers arrived, they searched around their home and they knocked on her door, but she didn't answer. Once they secured the property and found no threat, they again attempted to knock on the door. This time, she answered the door and was greeted by one of the two officers. The officer began to question Sonya, with Sonya telling the officer, please God, don't hurt me. This is when the officers ensured her they weren't there to hurt her as she called them. After a quick conversation and the officers appearing to head out, they questioned her about a vehicle that was in her driveway that she claimed didn't belong to her. This is when one of the officers goes to run the plates on the car while the other officer steps into the home with Sonya. He is then met by the other officer who was trailing behind. Once inside, they began searching her home and questioning her. Out of nowhere, one of the officers, Sean Grayson, instructed Sonya to shut off a boiling pot of food she was cooking to avoid starting a fire. Sonya then made her way to the stove and turned it off and began to move the boiling pot towards the sink. This is when she noticed the officer stepping away from her. Sonya asked the officers why they were stepping back, with the officers replying by telling her they were just trying to get away from the hot steam. This is when Sonya told the officers that she rebuked them in the name of Jesus. This is when the officer asked her what she had said, with Sonya again repeating, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. When Officer Grayson heard this, he flipped out and pulled out his weapon, telling her, you better not. I swear to God, 
and then threatened he would discharge his weapon right in her face. Yeah. The police officers began yelling at her to put the pot down, with Sonia saying, okay, I'm sorry, and seconds later, Officer Sean discharged his weapon, striking Sonia three times, with one ending up in her head. After the incident happened, Officer Grayson said there was nothing he can do, claiming he wasn't going to take boiling hot water to the face. So this is when his partner said he was going to get a medical kit, with Officer Grayson telling him not to, as she was done for. Now I want to play this footage, as there were many key- I don't even know if we are going to be able to play it, but you know, what's really crazy, you know, is, of, of course, what happened, but like, when you heard- how they like how he was talking to her you know i mean there was a, a clear distance between them you know and for him to feel threatened by some hot water like you're you're the one who's like engaging you know if if you just step back if anything you can just step back <laughs> walk out the damn door, you know? And I don't even, I don't even think they should have used this, but they could have uh, uh, used the taser. But I don't even think they should have even used that. Like, I, man. Points about this that I want to talk about that stuck out to me as truly strange. No worries though, I'm not going to be showing the moment when the officer discharges his weapon. I will skip over that part for YouTube's sake and for my own soul, as that was truly disturbing to see. Yeah. Watching it to make this video was already bad enough. Good. <laughs> She was yelling inside. Just forward a little bit. Is this your car over here? Is this your car over here? Uh -uh. Oh. That's not your black car in the driveway? Mm -mm. Oh, well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. We didn't see anybody. Mm -mm. Right? You know, we don't. We check the whole area. There's nobody out walking around. I know, y'all. Please, God. Please, God. I'm trying to get help, y'all. But. What do you need any help with? Nothing. I just. Please, God. Please, God. Please. I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing. I just wanted to see if I could help me. What do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Uh, I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. We didn't see nobody. So nobody's out here. You didn't see anybody? Nope. Nope. Oh. Uh -huh. Checked the whole area. Okay. What take you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. I was trying to get I got gotcha. you. All right. Sorry. Is there anything else we can do for you? Uh -huh. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um, no, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure. My medicine stuff. All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. All right. That's not your black car, though. That's SUV? Okay. Whose is it? Uh, you don't know? If someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's run that. Yeah. 19, I got a 20 place. Did you See... Like, do you guys feel like when she said, when he said, is there anything else I can help you with? And she said, no. Uh, to me, that should have been the end of it. And this video we're watching is sped up, you know, so his tone definitely sounds different because the video sped up. But at regular speed, you can hear the tone in his voice. But they should have left after that. They should have left. You know, he said, we checked the property. No one's there. All right. Peace out. David Mary, 43556. You got a name? You got a Okay. Oh, yeah, they found it. 
Hello? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out why all this is necessary. Why is he like searching the house? Like, like what is this? What is this about? They should be gone by now. Right? And for those of you wondering, I do live with a police officer, if you're wondering. Hey, um, I got the sheriff department here, but I was coming for help from y'all. Okay. They're here in my house right now. Okay. Hold on, you're going to need to cover that. No, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second, sir. You're going to hang up, Todd, real quick. Hold on. You're there with the deputy, correct? No, hold on, okay? You're going to hang up. Hold on for what? Uh, just one second, okay? Okay. 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 Bible, please. Yeah. Hey, I just need your name so we can get out of here. Has there, was there any damage previous to your car? Uh, previous, yeah. It okay, was. What was the damage? A dent, I believe. But what about windows? Oh, that, it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your last name? Uh, Should not think about your last name. Okay. You're not in trouble. I just need to Massey. Text. Huh? Massey. What? What? You have an ID? That makes things so much easier. Oh, I, I just need to get, just driver's license will do, and then I'll get out of your hair. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will get your paperwork. What? I got some paperwork. We'll just get your ID. Well, let's get your ID session. first and then one task at a time here. Okay. Here, grab your ID for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. So another another thing, I don't know if he's going to mention this, but the fact that they felt, or mainly the, I, I forget his name, but felt threatened, right? But like in, in my mind, like she she got this bag on the floor, right? And she's just going through the bag and they don't feel threat. I, all I'm saying is like, what What if she would have had a weapon in that bag and she's grabbing at it and just dug in there and pulled the weapon out? I'm saying they didn't even feel threatened by her digging through this bag. But they felt, and look how close they are, but they felt threatened with her being, you know, about, Hell, I don't know, look like about six, seven feet away or something like that. I don't know. I'm 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 waiting to see what he has to say after this. One task at a time. So let's do an ID and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my ID is. You just have that stack right there, maybe? Okay. One second. Just check on her. No, we don't need a fire while we're here. Alright. Okay. Let me see. Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I'll rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'll rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Better fuck. I swear, I gotta fucking shoot your ass in the face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking pot! Fucking drop the fucking pot! You good? I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Let her fucking just. God. Is that what you do, man? Right. That was so crazy, man. You good? Alright. Well, alright, you know what else do we do? You know what else do we do? You know what else do we do? I'm not taking hot boiling water to the face, and it already reached us. <laughs> They got a 52 in route? Yeah, 1078. I'm gonna go get my kit. No, get headshot. She's done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. Dude. I'll go get my med kit. I'm right there when he said that, that was so great. Like, it, it sounded like a damn video game. And you, you telling me, though, let's say, let's say, Let's say she was about to run or toss that water at them. You know, you would have to be really accurate. That's not like it's a big old pot. You know, hell, she will probably end up burning herself before them once she flipped that thing over. But you tell me when she does this, you can't just do this or that, you know? So crazy. Don't, don't get 
I mean, there's not much we can do. As you saw for yourself, this is truly one of the most disturbing police body cams I have ever seen. All of this just seems so wrong. It made no sense for that officer to unload his weapon like that for no reason. She didn't charge at them, she didn't threaten them, she didn't do anything. Even after she put the pot down, the officer unloaded his weapon. She was clearly not a threat. If he was really afraid of boiling hot water, he could have avoided it by simply stepping back further. Exactly. I honestly believe Grayson wanted to take her out the moment he saw her. When he said when he was surrounded by his officer friends, proves it 100%. While this situation might just be another racial profiling situation, I think it's much deeper and darker than that. I believe there was something spiritually wrong about all of this. From beginning to end, there was something off about this call. The way that Sonya was acting, it's almost like Sonya knew Sean Grayson was an evil soul sent by the devil himself. Mm. One of the first things Sonya said to Grayson was not to hurt her, and then she repeated please God several times, just so Grayson could go and do exactly that. Throughout the entire encounter, Sonya repeatedly asked God for protection, as she clearly felt something off about these officers. I know some people get worried when they're around police officers. I myself get nervous around them too. But Sonya seemed abnormally worried and kept on calling on God. Then when she told the officer that she rebuked them in the name of Jesus, the way the officer acted it was almost like it set him off. Watching the footage, you can clearly see that's when he flips out. Many people don't believe in demonic energy, but it's clear to me that this man was being controlled by something demonic. The way he reacted to her saying, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, it was like those words hurt him. That man was carrying something evil inside of him. I believe when Sonya saw this officer, she knew something evil was in him. This is why she called for God and also rebuked them in the name of Jesus. Mm. Looking into the officer, I noticed that he had been a part of six different police agencies. Yeah. He was also discharged from the military for inappropriate behavior. Somehow, he then ended up on the police force. What's not surprising at all is that this officer also had skulls tattooed on his arm. We know skulls are a symbol of death, but it just goes to show what kind of energy this man has. As of now, he lost his job and is being charged, but honestly, if he doesn't get life in prison without the possibility of parole, it's not enough. I already know some people are going to try and troll and say she tried to throw the hot water on him, but it's not true. I watched it in slow motion. She puts the pot down and is holding the oven mitts in her hand, not the pot. The officer was clearly there with a mission whether he knew it or not. Lucifer uses people to do his work and he used him that night. From the footage you can see that Sean didn't feel any remorse either as he called her a crazy effing B word when other officers had asked him about what happened. He also claimed that it was the only thing he can do, which again is nonsense. There was so much he could have done to avoid this, but that man was being used by Satan. This to me is just further proof of the spiritual battle we are in. This evil man was able to easily hurt this poor woman and then try to justify it in his sick head. We are living in a lost world, a world full of people who abandon God. They walk around soulless, unknowingly being used by Lucifer to do his deeds. This is what happens when a person turns on God. They become subject to becoming possessed by this evil. It's clear to me that this is what was wrong with this man. There was a few things that stuck out to me about this situation. The fact that Sonya was 36. Also the fact that it's reported Grayson was a part of six different agencies. I also noticed that he discharged his weapon at the 9 minute mark of the video. Oh. There was also a 6 in the woman's address which was 2868. And this all just so happened to take place on July 6. While this all might just be a coincidence and I might just be looking too deep into this, I feel that something was clearly spiritually wrong here and with 6 being the number of the devil, I just think it's an odd coincidence. I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Do you agree with me? Well, I'm in this one here. Um. You can say what you want. Right? Like I said before, man, if you don't find nothing wrong with this, you're part of the problem. That right there was just so, so, that could have been so easily avoided, man. I was like, you got to be kidding me, man. You telling me, like, they shouldn't have, first of all, they shouldn't have never came in the house. They should have been gone. And then while in the house, they could have easily left back out if they felt threatened. 
I I can't wait to see these comments. You know, I've seen a few videos where people are saying like she was a threat and I just had to shake my damn head. I just had to shake my damn head. Like, you got to be kidding me, man. But hey, appreciate y'all coming over. Um, I guess we going to see what's going to happen. If, if he's going to be, you know, convicted. All right, peace out.